horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. for the asking in the early western United States. But as they grew more prosperous, the settlers found it hard to protect their property from rustlers and outlaws. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the frontier was made safe for honest men and women. It was he, more than any other man, who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello, Silver! We're heading for the Lazy D. Tell us waiting for us. Hello, Silver! Hawaii! The westbound stage carried two passengers. One, a man of about 35. The other, a girl of 21. Get up there! Get up! Go on! Get You're up almost there. at the end of your trip, Miss Dale. I wish I were. You're going all the way west, aren't you, Mr. Brooke? That's right. The folks back home thought it would be better for me to get away from... From? Well, uh, things. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been curious. And you, from what you said, are going into things. Aren't you nervous going to a big branch all alone to take possession of it? Nervous? Why should I be nervous? Well, no man to protect you. And you, a southern girl, with more than your share of, uh, charm. Oh, I dare say I'll be quite all right. I feel that most of the stories we've heard about bad men and savages and highwaymen are pretty far-fetched. I hope so, for your sake. As a matter of fact, Mr. Brooks, I do think I'd welcome some excitement. Things home have been so frightfully dull since... since Mama passed away. Do the men who've been taking care of your ranch know you're coming? Oh, yes, indeed. I wrote and told the manager. Uh, you've never seen the place, have you? No, I've never been west. I hope you're not disappointed. Oh, I can't be. No? I don't expect much of anything, in spite of all the glowing things that have been told about the Lazy D. Uh, you see, my uncle, my father's brother, owned the place and left it to me when he died. I see. That was about five years ago. I haven't heard much from the foreman, but I guess the ranch has gone along just about the same as when Uncle Jim was living. Mm, I hope so. You... you sound dubious, Mr. Brooks. The things have a way... well, a way of happening. Oh! oh there. This is a hold-up. What's that? Bandits. Oh, right up there. This is where you get off. Right out of there. Come on. Out of that stage. Everyone. I have a pistol. I'll Be get careful. it. careful. Oh, oh. oh. You've shot him. That's as sure as we mean business. Get out of that stage now, miss. We ain't fooling. You hurt this man badly. Do something for him. Do something. Do you hear me? It's her, all right. Plenty of spunk. Yep. It's the girl. Kick your dirty hands off me. Out with you, then. We don't aim to do you no harm unless you try to resist. Uh, I'm getting out. You better do what they say, Miss Dale. They're right bad hombres. You heard what the guard said. Get yourself aboard that wagon off the trail there. You travel with us from here on. What about that man? You can't leave him there like that. 
What's the mood like, Pete? It ain't bad. It's tough. You'll have to come along with us then. I'll haul him out. What's the meaning of this? You can leave your bags and things right where they are, Miss Steele. They're all right. But you... Come on, get aboard the wagon. We'll start traveling. I got the gent all unloaded, Jake. Get a left. Grab his bag. Driver, throw the man's bag down. Yeah? Hey, consider yourself lucky we don't shoot you. Here. Here you are. I got it. Madge, you can come out now. Everything all set? All set. Who are you? Me? Don't matter who I've been up to now. From now on, I'm Jane Dale. You, but, but then... We figured running a ranch wouldn't be appealing to a fine girl brought up in all this Southern Virginia luxury like you was, Miss Jane, so, uh... We send another girl to take your place. You can't do this. Why, this is... It's it... what we're doing. Get aboard, Madge. Right. The driver and guard must be in with you. Oh, the beastly... The... Save your breath. Oh. Get gone. Get up there. Get up. Get along there. Get up. After the abduction of Jane Dale and Brooks, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode up to the Lazy D Ranch. The mystery rider did not wear a mask. His face was disguised. Hey there. What do you want here, stranger? We came to see the new owner. Is she in the house? What if she is? Who are you? I might ask the same, but I happen to know you're Jake Cypress. That gives you an advantage. I don't know you. I'll introduce myself to Miss Dale. You'll do that same to me. Miss Dale ain't got no time for strangers. There ain't no jobs here, and we ain't buying or selling nothing. So clear out. I'm not looking for a job, and we aren't here to sell anything. You got a pretty loose tongue, mister. Jake, we've been two days getting here. Well? We've had a hard trip. We haven't spent much time resting. So I'm in no mood to argue. Now, are we going to that house without a fight? Or after one? Uh... So that's the way of it, huh? That's the way of it. Well, go ahead, then. Ain't no skin off my nose if Miss Dale takes a horse whip to you. Well, well. Come on, Tonto. Jake, I heard it. Who's them two? I don't know. But I reckon Matt can handle them. I don't like no strangers around here. Ain't no telling how far we can trust the guard and driver of that stage. I've been thinking of that. Maybe we're making a big mistake to trust him at all. Meaning? We should arrange another highway job, and this time let there be some goods stolen and men shot dead. Jake, Madge is opening the door for them, too. I see. What do we better do? Shove on to the window and hold our six guns ready, in case they happen to know the Madge ain't the real Jane Dale. Come on. have you been here, Miss Dale? Oh, just a few days. Why? Do you examine the stock at all? Uh, not much. Why? Did you know that a lot of the cattle had been sold off since your uncle died? No, but what's the difference? It was sold at mighty low prices. In fact, it was almost given away. Oh. I thought you might be interested in getting rid of the rest at the same price. Well, Jake, uh, uh, my foreman handles all that. Jake? Yes, you'll have to talk to him. And there's another matter. The sheriff is over at the county seat, and that's Calhoun. Uh, oh, what of it? He's been expecting you to see him and make a complaint about the way you've been robbed. Robbed me? He's lo- uh, he, He's crazy. Oh, I don't think he's crazy. At any rate, he would like to have a talk with you about the foreman. Would you care to come with us to Calhoun? Well, I don't see any reason why I should. I'm not in the habit of riding away with strangers. Then I'll tell the sheriff he can come here. But I don't want to see him. I'm not going to be bothered by every small-town lawman. I'm here to see about selling the ranch, and then I'm going back where I came from. I'm afraid, Miss Dale, when the sheriff comes, you'll have to see him. There are some papers that require your signature. He has to see you about that anyway, and he'd like to talk about Jake Cyphers. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, when will he be here? Perhaps sometime tonight. Oh. I just dropped in to tell you. I hope that uh, you... What are those papers you speak of? You signed some papers when you were told you had inherited this ranch, didn't you? Why, uh, oh, yes, sure. Now, there's one more paper that requires your signature. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be going now. I must get word to the sheriff. Very well. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Oh, a confounded nerve. You, Madge. Jake, did you hear what that man said? I heard it. That means we've got to find some way to get that girl in line. That's what I was thinking. The sheriff comes here and you sign her name. You know the writing is different. Maybe we can sell the ranch and clear out before he comes. That's what I'd expect you to say. Huh? Sell the ranch. <laughs> the sheriff is coming here tonight. How can we sell, collect, and vacate by that time? 
He said there's a couple of people we got to take care of before we move out. Those two in the cellar, huh? Those and the stage guard and the driver as well. Aren't they on our side? I don't know how much on our side. They said they'd play along if we didn't do no murder. Well, you're so all-fired smart, Jake. What's your idea? I'll tell you what it is. Come on. Where to? Down cellar. Uh, get this trap door open. You go first. Yeah. Fetch that kettle along. Light it first. You, Jane Dale. Oh, there you are. I got some things to say to you. We let get that gag off. There you are. Here's the light. Good enough. Take it to Brooks and we'll see how he is. He needs a doctor. Oh, he does, eh? Maybe a bullet would put him out of his pain as quick as a doctor. You, you beast, you vile beast. I'm here to talk about Brooks. I don't know if he means anything to you. No. Uh, he don't. And I may as well drill him and save the bother of feeding him. Hold the kettle up, Madge. No, 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 stop, you can't. <laughs> don't want him shot, eh? Oh, oh Bob. There is one way you can keep him from being shot. More than that, if you do what we tell you, we'll see to it that Brooks has a doctor and gets patched up as good as new. Will? The sheriff may be coming here. He'll be wanting you to send a paper, Savvy. Oh, tell the sheriff what's been going on here. Unless he's, he's as crooked as you are. You'll tell the sheriff nothing. We'll let you out long enough to meet the sheriff and tell him everything is like it should be. Then when he's gone, I'll find the sawbones for your friend there. If you don't do what we say, Brooks dies. And you die with him. <laughs> the top of a rise and stopped where they could watch the ranch without being seen. I'll put the mask on now and start for town. And you stay here and watch that house, Tonto. Why you go to town? Why watch house? I'd better explain it all to you. When I was talking to that girl, it struck me as odd that she was so tanned. She didn't look like a girl from Virginia. The more I talked to her, the more certain I was that she was an imposter. Oh. She slipped in her speech a couple of times. There were other things as well that made me suspicious. You will not know, Sheriff, come here? No, I faked that story about the Sheriff. But the fact remains, the real Jane Dale, if my suspicions are right, will have to sign another paper. Ah. Uh-huh. I told the people there that the Sheriff would bring the paper to the house. Now they'll have to have the real Jane Dale on hand, you see. Not right. She's already signed some papers while she was in the East. And the Sheriff will know her signature. Uh, what crook plan? Jake Cyphers has been selling cattle for almost nothing. The man he sold it to is a close friend of his who owns a ranch. I think Jake himself owns part of that ranch. Uh. The next move will be to sell the Lazy D. Then Jane Dale will no doubt be murdered. That's why I want to make it necessary for them to have her on hand tonight. You think girl's still alive? They'll keep her alive as long as there's a chance they might need information from her. Oh. Or perhaps her signature. If she is in that house, they'll have her on hand when the sheriff comes. If she isn't, they'll go and get her. That's why you'll have to wait right here and watch. Follow anyone who leaves and make a trail so I can find where you are. You go get sheriff now. Yes. Come on, Silver. Stranger, stand where you are. I'd like to talk to you, Sheriff. You're under arrest. For what? I don't know yet, but masked men are always jugged till we find out about them. I came here to talk to you. You wanted out on the Lazy D. For what? To talk to Jane Dale. Well, you step inside my office and we'll talk it over. After you've took off that mask. I'm not taking this mask off. And if you're interested in upholding the law, you'll come with me. Stranger, put up your hands. You're under arrest. And whatever you say can be used again, you. Very well, Sheriff. <laughs> Let's go into your office. And from there to the jail. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger rode into town with the intention of sending the sheriff to the Lazy D Ranch, the lawman placed him under arrest. Sheriff, I've come into your office as you demanded. Now I'll tell you something. Take off that mask. You're going to put down that gun and come with me, Sheriff. I didn't try to take your gun away while we were outside, but I will take it away in here. I've heard that before. It isn't hard. It's just a case of... Will you? Steady. Stand still. I'll pick up the gun. You sit down. Never in all my born days. Blast it, stranger. How did you move that fast? Now then. Hold on. I've faced all manner of gunmen in my day. I've seen men that was called fast on the draw. I've seen men move fast. I've seen lightning. But the way you slapped aside my gun and drew at the same time... I had to do it, Sheriff. The life of a girl may depend on what you do for the next few hours. Tell me one thing. Just one. That's all I ask. I've heard about one man that wears a mask and ain't an outlaw. Perhaps I... I'm that man. The Lone Ranger? I've been called that. That settles it. Holster your shooting iron, set and relax, and give out orders. I'm at your service. That evening at the ranch house of the Lazy D, Jake Cyphers had Jane Dale brought into the big living room. Madge and Pete stood on either side of the girl and... The sheriff's coming, Jake. Let me see. Yep, that's him all right enough. Where's that girl? There she is. Now, Jane, you listen. Yes? I've told you a few things that show we mean business, and we won't tolerate no monkey shouts in your part, Sevy. Yes. You remember just exactly what you was told to do, Sevy. Uh, I'll try. When the sheriff gets here, sign whenever he tells you to. I'll be right here with you as your ranch manager, and you can ask me to do your talking for you if you would. Yes. You'll do whatever I tell you. If you don't... Then it'll be tough on the critter that's downstairs wounded. Pete. Yeah? You stand by the stairs. The first move this girl makes to tip the sheriff off that there's anything wrong, I'll signal you. You let Brooks have a bullet. Right. I'll tend to that. There's the sheriff now. Madge, you get to the next room. Take a gun and keep it trained on the sheriff. If I signal Pete to fire, you fire too. I will. You be. I'll use the rifle. I'll sure hit what I aim to. Remember, Jane, any break in your part means a two middle die, and then you will get it. Now stand right there. I'll answer the door. Hello, Jake. Well, Sheriff, I ain't seen you in some time. Step right in, won't you? Uh, sure thing. This here is uh, Miss Dale, Sheriff. She's from the East. Sheriff Blunt, Miss Dale. How do you do? Howdy, miss. I'm right glad to know you. What brings you here? I was told that you'd likely be coming. Yeah? Who told you that? Didn't you send word that you wanted to speak to Miss Dale about some signing of a paper? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sit down, won't you, Sheriff? Thank you. I got the paper right here. You're Miss Dale, huh? Yes, Sheriff. You own this here outfit? Yes, Sheriff. I'm the owner of the Lazy D. Mm, I'm going to have proof of that. What more proof do you want than her word and mine? I'm the foreman. I was here when the old man was still alive. Now, I got samples of Jane Dale's handwriting of her name here. If you just write your name, I could compare them. Go ahead. Uh, write your name, Miss Dale. It's downright important that I get the right one. I'd eat like thunder to make a mistake. So what's this for, anyhow? You'll find out soon enough, Jake. Uh, there. Mm, that's the same handwriting, sure enough. Well, then I reckon you're the right girl. I'm downright sorry, ma'am. Sorry? Yep, I'll have to put you under arrest. Arrest? For what? You can't arrest a woman? Oh, don't say so. If I got a warrant for a woman's arrest, I've got to do it. That's all there is to it. You'll have to come back to town with me, Miss Jane. But I haven't done anything. That'll have to be proved in court, ma'am. the charges against her? Jake, it strikes me that you're mighty curious about a thing that ain't none of your business at all. When my boss is jailed, it is my business. I know something about the law around here. I know you... You may know the law, Jake, but so do I. I don't take any chances of doing the wrong thing. You get your coat and hat, Miss Jane, and tell your men to hitch a team to a rig. Not so fast, Sheriff. Jake, have you gone loco? Don't reach for your gun. You're covered. This won't get you nowhere at all. I'll judge that. Pete, come out here. I had him coming all the time, Jake. Take his gun. This is a pretty high-handed proceeding, Jake. I reckon you must be local to risk jail. Maybe so. I got the gun. This is a showdown, Jake. How far you figure I'm going? All the way. By the time the sheriff is missed, 
We can fix things up to look accidental. You mean? Sheriff, first of all, I want to know what you came here for. What sort of charges is there again, Miss Jane? Looks like you got the drop on me now, Jake. Speak up. If I don't? Madge is holding a gun on the girl. She might get tired waiting for you to talk and start shooting. Mad, huh? We took a lot of trouble so far to get this place. We don't figure to let it slip away from us because of you. You've been living on bar time too long anyhow. A sheriff ain't supposed to live to your age. So you'll find out what Jane Dale's wanted for, huh? Then drill me. We maybe will drill you. There might be a better way. If I don't talk, you'll start shooting at the girl. Miss Jane, have you got anything to say? What, what can I Tell him if you want. Tell him how we kept you prisoner, how Madge is going to be Jane Dale, how we plan to sell this outfit. Tell him about the other Easterner that's down cellar. I guess there's nothing much more to tell, Jake. Pete, you rope the sheriff and put him down below with the other hombre. I'll decide later what's best to do with both of them. Right. We'll have to work fast now, no loose ends. Get the garden driver at that stage and fix them as well as a ship. Jake! I want you, Sheriff. A mask, man! The... Look out! Why are you... I don't think so! He shot the sheriff! Don't! Get me, will you? The sheriff has another gun! Keep out of this, Jake! I'm watching you! Keep it! Oh. <laughs> you thought I was unarmed! Hold <laughs> oh. it, Pete. Good golly, Jake, did you see that? The sheriff had a gun hid under his shirt. He got the mask on after he was shot. Jake, do you think they're both done for? Looking at him, I'd say they was, but we can't take chances. Who the Sam Hill was the masked man? Someone with a grudge against the sheriff, seems like. Pete, keep an eye on the girl. Don't let her run off. She won't. She's seen things that sort of stunned her. Now, look, that paper the sheriff showed the girl wasn't nothing at all. He just uses an excuse to come here. We've got to work fast. First of all, we'll put a couple of more shots into these two and make sure I'm with... Men outside. Hey, hey, there's been shooting. Look inside the door. Who are they? Be quiet, all of you. Leave it to me. But you get away, Pete. But Jake... Shut up. Jane Dale, you listen. Listen, but you hear? Brooks are still alive. And you can still save him if you keep your trap shut. No use talking to her. Leave her to me. What's been going on in here? Oh, uh, it's you, Avis. It's me. What's happened to the sheriff? Shut I reckon you being deputy, you'll be in charge now, huh? Who done it? The masked man there. Uh, who's he? I don't know. He busted in while me and the sheriff was talking and started shooting. The sheriff took a slug but managed to get him. Well, sort of puts me in charge. The sheriff didn't tell me what he was coming here for. Just said he had something special. If I heard gunplay, I should move up with my posse. He brought you with him? Yeah. I was waiting back a little ways. Only got two of my men with me. Who's the redskin? Oh, him? I don't know. He just rid up here with us when we heard the shots. Sure too bad about the sheriff. I'll have a look at him. You boys, come in here. Oh, me. Me look at the mask, man. We didn't have no hand in it at all, deputy. We only... Pete? Yeah, sure thing, Jake. What about it, Vince? I reckon the one shot was all it took. I'll help you get rid of them. It ain't pleasant for the ladies to have them around here. Oh, I didn't know there was two women here. And the girl over there is a friend of mine. I see. Uh, Jake, would you call in what men you got around here? Uh, go get the boys, Pete. Sure thing. I'll fetch them pronto. Thanks. I'll need some help in loading them for taking back to town. Maybe a good idea to unmask that one and see if we know them. Nope. I, uh, I don't know just what the proper procedure will be, but... I'll take him back as they are and then find out what's to be done. What have you say, Vince? You're the deputy in charge. Maybe the sheriff from now on, huh? Why not? Uh, how many men you got here now, Jake? Only one other besides Pete. There's two, but uh, they're out at a line camp. Uh, we'll get them later on. Uh, get them? Sure. We'll want them for questioning. Questioning? I don't savvy. Questioning about what? Oh, things that have been going on here. Well, take these two girls, for example. One of them is owner of this place. Sure. Jane Dale, my boss. Which one? Uh, her. Me, of course. Uh, why? The sheriff figured he'd do well to investigate that angle some. That's why he come here. You, uh... You said you had only one man around besides Pete? That's all. Uh, there he comes. Here he is, Jake. You uh, sure that's all? Of course I'm sure. Well, that being the case, the uh, the sheriff may as well take charge in person. Look, look, Jake! I 
released him, Jake. What the? You two, Pete. Hey, they ain't dead at all. They ain't even hurt. We ain't even unarmed since the engine slipped guns to us. Now back to the wall. You two. You don't mean me. I mean you. You're the girl who posed as Jane Dale. When you thought it'd be necessary to get the genuine signature, you brought the real Dale girl out. Miss Dale, now you can talk. Yes, and there's plenty I can tell you. My friend Mr. Brooks is down in the cellar tied up and wounded. He's been held there and so have I ever since we were taken from the stage and, and brought here by some roundabout route. Keep talking, girl. They threatened to murder Mr. Brooks if I didn't do what they demanded. That's why I couldn't say anything. Vince, go see about Brooks. You bet I will. This is a frame-up. You can't prove Don't talk nonsense, Jake. We can prove everything. The garden driver of the stage were working with these crooks. They said so. Well, that's news. We'll get them later on. Now, look here, Sheriff. Whatever I... you got to say, Pete, can be said in court. I heard them talking. Jake Sivers has been robbing my uncle since he died. He planned to sell the ranch for almost nothing, then be a partner of the man who bought it. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings up the subject of the paper, Miss Dale. I told Jake the sheriff needed your name on a paper. The sheriff has it. Yeah, right here. A complaint against these crooks. Sign right here. You bet I will. Here's Brooks. He ain't bad hurt, Jane. Are you all right? Yes, but, but your wound. It's not as bad as I made them think it was. I heard everything that went on up here. If you need any more witnesses, Sheriff. Fine. All right, out with you. Jake, Pete. You two, whatever your real name is. You got me into this, Jake. Uh, sure. Oh, Sheriff. Why, Ginger, it sure paid to listen to what the Lone Ranger had in mind. It sounded like a mess of planning just to get evidence against these skunks. We had to be sure to get them all, Sheriff. We got them. Oh, what a frightful experience to start with in this new country. Don't hold it again in the West, ma'am. You really get to like it here after a time, Miss Death. I sure hope you'll stay. Well, perhaps I will. After all, I've seen one man that offsets the crooks I've met. Meaning me? Oh, no, but you might learn to be like him if you wanted to stay on a ranch and work here. All I ask is the chance. Hello, Silver Hawaii! Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.